Hello guys, it's the Ginger Hills here, and I'll be showing you a tutorial today in After Effects, and it I'll be showing you how to make this. It I've put it in like I've slowed it down a lot more so you can actually see what's happening. But yeah, I got a I said I would do a tutorial for this thing here, but I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because well, it took me about three hours because I was just mucking about. And this is the first time I used it, so it was. But anyway, go into After Effects and um, create a new composition and call it 3D Stroke. You will need Trap Code. You will need Trap Code 3D Stroke. I think it's called that. I think it's called that. Yeah, you need a plugin called 3D Stroke from Trap Code. So yeah, I went over that again. So go new. Go adjustment layer. No, don't go adjustment layer. Go new, go solid, make it black, and name this BG for background. And then right click it, go to effect, go to generate, and go to ramp. This will just make it look a bit better and make the color stand up a bit more. But change the ramp shape from linear ramp to radial ramp, and then change the black to a color you want. Actually, don't do that one first. Do the white one first. Change that to black. And then change this one to the color you want. But preferably a dark color like down here. I'll go for blue because I like blue. So, yeah. That's your background. Then go new. Go solid. And name this 3D stroke. Ooh. Can't type. Whoa. Actually, I'm gonna color this. Um, make it blue, just so I know the difference between each one. So yeah, you got the 3D stroke. Then you want to type into effects and presets, effects and presets, and type drag on 3D stroke, and it should disappear the big blue thing. So you just got the background. But there's a whole lot of presets of yeah there's a lot of presets and I used a lot of these well not a lot of them some of them but what, what was the one I did in this yeah, it was the triangle okay so you wanna go presets basic triangle and you can change the thickness and all that if you really want to but one of the first things I would do I go to tap, taper and enable it I think it just makes it look a lot less blocky that's it's hard to understand but you, you you know what I mean you can see the difference if you had the taper on it or tapier tapper tapper taper anyway go to motion blur and turn on motion blur this will just make it look a bit nicer anyway you wanna yes you wanna drag the start up to a hundred and the end up to a hundred up here. Can I make this bigger? No, I can't make this bigger. Um you wanna hit the keyframe on the start and then go forward about go go forward how far you want. I wouldn't go forward two seconds because that's a bit long. I'm just doing a tutorial so I'll show you how to do it. So anyway drag that down to zero and then move back a wee bit to about there as you can see and then click the end button and then go up to three and drag the end down to zero. Actually, no, that's a that's too short. All right. So if you play it now, you got oh, you got this thingy here. And as you can see, it's going quite slow, but that's all right. So you wanna. What do you wanna do now? What do you wanna do now? Sorry, I'm just using this as a reference. Okay, I know what we're doing now. You want to change the color to a lightish color. You don't want to have it dark like down here. Because if it's dark, it doesn't look very nice. So preferably you'd want to bring it up to here and pick a color. So I'm going to pick, I'll pick 
like a greeny cyan color and then you want to right click here and go to stylize and click glow and then change the glow threshold down to 20 something and the glow radius to something like 100 and something 100 and below 150 and then you get this so if you now if you run preview it looks a bit nicer I'm gonna zoom this in I don't know why it's not zoomed in okay so that's basically the basics of it yes basics basics yes so now there was these other um, shapes which aren't in the presets I basically drew my own paths and you can do that so I'll show you how to do that I'm kinda not well at the minute so if I'm not making sense I'm sorry but just sort of try to cope so you wanna change the presets to none and use all paths take that off and you can duplicate it and just oh, sorry I'll go through this again Um, basically click on your layer and then hold in control and press D and that will duplicate it so basically you got two of them so you don't have to start from start and change all the you don't have to do more keyframing that's what it is so basically you want to go to none for the presets and use all paths on tech that then just I'm gonna drag this out a wee bit um, where is my path tool you want to click on the wee pen tool I'm gonna zoom out a wee bit um, so yeah now you just want to draw your wee paths so something like that yeah so if you play for it nothing will happen because you need to change the path from the mask one and once you change it to mask one as you can see it will do that so this is something you need to just sort of play with you need to just keep going over and over again it's very repetitive but in the end it looks kind of cool I think so yeah you wanna is the motion blur on? no you wanna click this button down here it says enables motion blur so click that you know why it's not it's not working because they're way too slow and one second my dogs just come into my room okay um so highlight all the keyframes and hold in alt and click the very last keyframe and drag it in a wee bit like so and if these keyframes are off of the the actual layer you just want to click them and drag them onto the layer so now if I play through it's still not the fastest but you kinda get the idea and I just duplicated a whole load of things and basically basically you just wanna play about with this okay so sorry for not many uploads I'm in school and I'm not feeling the best and I just can't really be bothered doing all of this but anyway hope you do something with this helpful which like an intro or something and I'm just babbling on now. So thanks for watching. Like, comment and subscribe if you can. So adios.